Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon, owner of Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts. I've been designing crochet patterns for over 30 years and crocheting for over 40 years. I am so excited to be able to share my expertise with you through these videos. If you need help with anything, just write it in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel and our Facebook page is Maggie's Crochet. Our website is maggiescrochet.com. I really hope that you enjoy the video and I want to thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Maggie from maggiescrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the double ruffled stitch and in a previous video I showed you how to do the um, single ruffle stitch so that was this is in another video and this will be in this video do that so I chose a dishcloth that's available at bestfreecrochet.com and it's number 297 and it's called Rose and Bloom Crochet Dishcloth so I could do the ruffle stitch on any one of these rounds that has available um, double crochets where I can get into these loops here. So I could do it here, I could do it here, here, I could even do a ruffle stitch around the outside border. So um, I, I'm going to start with a long end and I make a loop and then I take the top strand, fold it across the back and then bring that same strand forward out of the hole there. And then you see there's a knot side and a slip side, so I'm going to tighten the knot side and then bring the slip side down. Put that on my hook. I'm using a Tulip Edimo hook and that's available at maggiescrochet.com. They're wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So anyway, I am going to work here in the skip two double crochet groups here. And you can go in any double crochet, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to start in the back loop right here and I'm going to insert my hook from front to back just in the back loop. See at the top of the double crochet there's two loops there. So I'm going to go just in the back loop and I'm going to yarn over like this. I'm going to draw that loop out and then draw that through the loop on my hook and that's joining with a slip stitch. So then I'm going to tighten this and I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now I also I'm going to go into the front loop in the same of the same stitch just like this. Like that and then I'm going to chain three again. Then I'm going to slip stitch into the back loop of the next double crochet. And then I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the front loop of the same double crochet, just like that. And then I'm going to chain three. Then I'm going to skip over these um, three double crochets and I, I want to get to the next group of free available double crochet stitches. So I'm going to go in the back loop here and then chain three and then go in the front loop. So it's the same, you do the same exact thing all the way around and then you go in the back loop and you go in the front loop. You know if you wanted it to be super ruffly you could go back and forth twice. Well, you, could, you could go into the back. So then I'm going to skip this Go into here. Yeah, if I can get it. I'm trying to watch the, um, I have a monitor here and I'm trying to watch the monitor instead of watching my work. Okay, so I'm gonna slip stitch and then one, two, three, go in the front loop. One, two, three. And the next double crochet. I'm going to go in the back loop. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to go in the front loop. Okay, so let's see what it's starting to look like. So there is a cute little addition to the dishcloth. 
So I'll go all the way around and when I come back I'm just going to join it with a slip stitch in the same in this loop right here where I joined with a slip stitch here. And then when I, I'll finish off and then I'll bring it to the back both strands and then I'll sew it in I'll uh, thread this on a yarn needle and I'll sew it back into the white part so you don't see that. So that's how you do the double uh, ruffle stitch. I want to thank you very much for watching and I hope that you subscribe to our channel and visit us at maggiescrochet.com for all your crochet needs. Thank you.